Hi, I'm Dr. Nikki Kay. I'm a medical doctor uh, specializing in hormones, and I'm the author of Hormones, Health and Human Potential. I want to talk a little bit about energy availability, what this is, and how this influences our hormones and therefore our health. We get all the energy we need from our food. This energy intake is partitioned and prioritized to cover movement. This is from an evolution point of view when we used to have to run away from saber tooth tigers, etc. The residual energy is known as energy availability. And this is the energy equivalent to resting metabolic rate. For example, if you even if you lie in bed all day and just get up to go to the toilet and get a drink, etc., so very minimal activity, you still need a lot of energy just to stay alive, to keep your hormones working uh, and keeping your heart beating, breathing uh, for women to maintain regular menstruation um, and menstrual cycles, uh, fluctuation of hormones. So uh, normally and hopefully uh, your energy intake will cover both these demands, the energy demand from exercise and the residual energy, energy availability will be sufficient to cover everything that your hormones need, your body needs to stay alive and healthy. However, if there isn't, once you've done this uh, calculation, as it were, if the energy availability is below that needed to stay, keep your hormones healthy, then this is a situation known as low energy availability. And this does have knock-on adverse consequences on your health, overall health, and particularly hormone health. You could end up in this situation either unintentionally, you just didn't realize that you needed to eat that amount of energy to cover all your demands, or intentionally if you restrict what you're eating, and therefore uh, you end up in this situation of low energy availability. The consequences of which are going to discuss in a different uh, uh, little clip, but that is to explain why you need energy to stay to cover your energy demands from exercise and energy to cover everything to do with staying healthy, uh, including hormone health.